Well, hey, Talitha, uh, yesterday we had talked about hoping to get into the 60s. It just never happened. We were stuck in that cold wedge that we typically get this time of the year as we get you closer to spring and then often in fall. But now we've got some sunshine that has peaked through in spots. We've actually made it into the 50s, even up into the mountains, too. So first, let's talk about your winter weather concerns. We've got winter storm warnings up in the mountains, advisories as we go east, and that includes for parts of the mountains in Virginia, so Stewart area, and as we head east toward Martinsville and Dan. Also under that winter weather advisory for travel concerns primarily. Can't promise you a whole lot of snow with this one. In fact, there may be a lot of folks who have not gotten snow by early tomorrow morning or who have just seen a little mixing and not a lot on the ground. Now, there's going to be a few folks, though, who get a good bit. We think that's going to happen in the mountains. We talked about the western slopes previously also. And this is always the case, at least in the trajectory of the storm. As they come in from the west, this is where we'd expect more snowfall. And temperatures, too, as we get you overnight will continue to cool. So we have darkness on our side, but we're not cold going into it. So we have some challenges. So late evening through the overnight hours, we are anticipating some rain changing to wintry mix and snow. And eventually we see some slippery road conditions developing in the mountains, especially gusty winds for all of us from 45 miles an hour on up in spots of the mountains. It'll be higher and gustier. So sporadic outages along with black ice concerns in our advisory area through early tomorrow morning. I think by 9 a.m. tomorrow, though, with the sunshine and the trajectory of the system, it's going to be out of here. We should actually see a lot of that snow starting to shut down very early tomorrow morning between 6 and 8 a.m. Snowfall up to two inches can't be ruled out in some spots, but look at this 51 in Boone right now. You've got some sunshine. You've also got a little bit of cloud cover just starting to creep back in and in the triad area. Some sunshine has also been peaking through with 52 degrees for you right now. Oh, nice to have some 50s and getting you out of those chilly 30s and 40s from yesterday. But here's what we've got with the showers. We've already seen that one low down to the south and another low. It will be sneaking in here a little later. Brought us some early morning scattered showers. We have a little bit left over uptown Lexington area. A couple sprinkles trying to fall over Winston-Salem. But we're also dry in spots too. As we get you from Mount Airy at 53, warm nicely to 55 in North Wilkesboro. So it is looking good out there at this hour. But let's take you through that hour by hour forecast to show you what happens as we get you through four or five o'clock. The showers become more numerous. Next system rolls in and we get also the shower chances changing to snow pretty quickly in the mountains. This is where we have the better chance to see those temperatures start dropping aloft and at the surface. 37 forecast by about 830 this evening. You see the snow falling then and we may also of course on the western facing slopes if temperatures drop sooner we could see that snow starting to accumulate by late evening between 8 and 10 o'clock. And then you've got those temperatures to the east uh, staying a little bit warmer potentially in the foothills which helps explain one of the reasons that the forecast uh, has not been included uh, for the foothills for the advisory. So you're looking at the snow starting to mix in possibly a little bit of sleet too and if we get sleet in there we could also see those snowfall totals reduced as you know that changes things too for some of the accumulation totals but it looks like the triad does have a chance to see some snow mix in could just be on grassy surfaces it doesn't look like it's a huge travel hazard except for that black ice by early morning as temperatures will be hovering in the low 30s. So this is what we have for you in store through early tomorrow morning. It's a fast hitting system. Not promising you a whole lot of snow on this one, especially as we look across most of the tribe. But a few folks could see some higher totals, an inch to two potentially, as we look ahead to the northern Piedmont and a couple spots even in the eastern triad if temperatures remain cold enough for a little longer there. So take a look at the mountains. Your temperatures there with your winter storm warning are going to continue to cool. And we've got you down into those 30s overnight as we go into early morning, some upper 20s to low 30s. For the foothills, wintry mix to a little bit of snow possible, but nothing that may stick likely on the ground at this point in high totals at least. And in the triad, a quick hitting system also brings in a chance of some wintry mix with snow developing overnight. And then we get you through the early morning hours with some chilly temperatures in those low 30s. Icy though continues, uh, icy condi conditions in the mountains, of course, on the roadways, along with some snow covered roads. And that's all possible thanks to the higher snow that starts earlier, but this still shuts down for you around 4 or 5 a.m. and a few lingering flurries after that. So now through Thursday, we're looking at, you know, later today, those shower chances, and of course, the snow ends pretty quickly. So looking at the next two days, though, we've got the better opportunity to see some of those wintry conditions up in the mountains. And let's get you ahead to your seven-day forecast here. We'll show you that coming up, but showing you that we've got the rain in place and wintry mix on the way soon for later tonight.